This is an example of a supply closet in one of our offices. You can see it is organized by hygiene here, crown preparation here. We have gloves up top, cleaning and barrier supplies, anesthetic and needles, whitening, suctions, isolation materials, and restorative materials. Majority of the items we use in our clinic can be very expensive. It is important to control the use in the clinic and ensure not to throw things away unnecessarily and to use all supplies accordingly. In this particular office, there are seven operatories and we have three extra bonding agents. It's important to know how much you of the supply you have to order appropriately. In this instance, I would order four more bonding agents to complete the supply um, for the seven operatories. This is another example of things that could be ordered, uh, which is a dental dam. Sometimes if items run extremely low and you run out, it can stop you, stop the doctor from being able to do a procedure. It is very important to check the supply room on your downtime to ensure you are stocked with all supplies and they're in your order queue. Usually the doctor approves the order before the order is released. It is important to almost be overstocked on items that are used in every single procedure, such as suctions, air water syringes. All of the supplies for the office uh, can be found through the new office startup document that your owner uh, doctor has access to. It'll be under the home uh, tab and then down to owner access. This page opens up and then your new office startup document has all of the clinical supplies that uh, you could order. So uh, if you go here, you're going to see all of the supplies and where uh, you order them and what the price uh, is. So uh, as much as possible, try to use uh, these supplies because they have been found to be the, the best value um, for the money. Um, all supplies, um, including uh, clinical equipment, are listed uh, in this document. Most of the time when you are reordering, uh, you're gonna do it right from um, your current order queue. So you'll come here, you'll go to reorder, and then you'll type in the item that you're looking to reorder. For example, if you're looking for sterilization pouch, you'll come here, Take a look at the pouch that you're looking for and you'll just simply click on buy it again.